Hey there guys, this is going to be a very quick video about why bullet drop does not matter in Planet Side 2. So, the first question and the most obvious question to be answered here is, why is this video being made? So, I see that when people are discussing faction balance, there are quite a few times where people will bring up the fact that the Venus Sovereignty have no bullet drop on their infantry weapons as one of their faction traits, thereby making them, you know, more powerful in some way than the other factions. So, I'm here to show you why that does not actually matter. So, what do I got going on here? Well, here I have a T9 Carve with a 4X scope. The T9 Carve also happens to be the starting LMG for the Terran Republic. As you can see, the damage fall off of the Carve makes it so that it does a minimum of 112 damage at 65 meters. And we can see that I'm standing at 80 meters, which is well outside that minimum damage range. I would definitely say that right now we are outside of the effective range for the T9 carve. Even so, as you guys can see, if I aim at this dummy right here, as you can see, there is no bullet drop at 80 meters, which is 15 meters past its intended effective range. So for all intents and purposes, I think it's safe to say that in the effective ranges of most, if not all, automatic weapons, bullet drop does not matter. So I should probably get a weapon that's more suited to these ranges, such as a battle rifle, and we'll see if it has the same bullet drop or not. Alrighty guys, so we are now standing 100 meters away from our target, and I have a Dragoon with a 6x scope on it. So this is the, I would say, probably the maximum range that you would use this weapon at, considering how small these targets are getting already. But even so, even at 100 meters, if I aim directly at this dummy's head, you can see that I still don't get bullet drop at 100 meters. So let's move back just a little bit and see if we get bullet drop. Okay guys, so we've moved back just a little bit, 20 meters, and as you can see, if I aim at the dummy's head again, we actually get bullet drop now. But how much bullet drop? Well, if I aim at the very top of the target's head, which is just a few pixels up, you can see that the amount of bullet drop that we get is very negligible, meaning that the amount of bullet drop that you're getting at this range is very shallow. So, while battle rifles are more effective at this range than something like an automatic weapon like a T9 Carve, I would still argue that in a live situation, you're still not being effective because of the fact that you're going to be missing a lot of shots at this range. Because again, I don't think that there are very many, very many people in this game that will just stand still like this and let you shoot them in the head in a live situation. So, again, bullet drop at this effective range, if you want to call it that, if you would call it that, I would call it an ineffective range, but bullet drop, even at this range, is still very, very negligible. So, let's get a sniper rifle, and we'll see if there is bullet drop at this range with a sniper rifle. Alright, so we do in fact have a sniper rifle. This one is the M77B with a 12x scope. And obviously our target is a lot bigger now. But again, is there any bullet drop? No, there is not. So at you are you are technically becoming more effective than you are with a battle rifle because of the fact that number one Sniper rifles are one-hit kills to the head most of the time if you have the right sniper rifle. Uh, but number two, at this range, you would have bullet drop with a battle rifle, but not with a sniper rifle. So, let's move back and we'll see where we start to get bullet drop. Alright guys, so I've chosen 200 meters, and the reason why I've chosen 200 meters is... The target is very, very small at this distance, and I would say that this is at least a pretty decent distance for a sniper to be at. I'd say this is probably an average distance for a sniper to be at with a 12x. 
maybe even more. I'd, I'd probably put this at the longer range of snipers, but anyway, how much bullet drop do we actually get from here? Well, if I aim slightly up, you can see that it's still not a lot. Even at 200 meters with a 12X M77B, we still do not have any effective bullet drop. And of course, when I say we don't have any effective bullet drop, what I mean is that you don't have to aim, say, at the second tick mark like this at your target. So again, with a sniper rifle, it's very shallow. And obviously at this range, you would not be firing at this target with a T9 carve or a 6X on a battle rifle. So the conclusion that we can come to is this. Bullet drop does not matter in Planet Side 2 because at the ranges where bullet drop starts to affect your bullets, you are already being ineffective as a player and as a team player. And even the Vanu Sovereignty at these ranges are not being effective purely because of how many bullets on average are missed at these ranges. So if we think about it, it's not only difficult for the Terran Republic and the new conglomerate to hit their shots from here, it's also difficult for a Vanu Sovereignty player because they still have to keep uh, bullet travel time and distance, which is, well, pretty much the same thing, but they have to keep these into account in the same way that these players would on the TR or NC. So, again, this works, this argument goes to the Vanu Sovereignty as well. It's not just the Terran Republic and the new conglomerate. At these ranges, as a player, you are just being ineffective, and bullet drop is just a way of showing you that the distances that you're engaging a target from, you're not being effective at those ranges. And so that is why bullet drop in Planet Side 2 does not matter. Thank you for watching.